क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी फोर इफ ए डोनर टाइप इंप्यूरिटी इज एडेड टू द सेमी कंडक्टर देन एट ए गिवन टेम्परेचर द फर्मी लेवल विल ऑप्शन मूव टूवर्ड्स द सेंटर ऑफ द एनर्जी कैप मूव टूवर्ड्स द बैलेंस बैंड मूव टूवर्ड्स द कंडक्शन बैंड डज नॉट चेंज सो दिस क्वेश्चन इज अगेन ए सिंपल एंड डायरेक्ट कॉन्सेप्ट बेस्ड क्वेश्चन सो दिस कॉन्सेप्ट विल स्ट्रेस मेनी टाइम्स इन द क्लास रूम कोचिंग सो दिस इज वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन सो आई एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन इन ए ईजी वे देर आर फ्यू मोर पॉइंट्स आई वुड लाइक टू एक्सप्लेन बी ऑन दिस क्वेश्चन फाइन लेट एस सी द सोल्यूशन और आंसर ऑफ दिस वॉट इज फॉर्मी लेवल यू शुड नो वॉट इज फॉर्मी लेवल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल फॉर्मी लेवल इज लाइक सम एनर्जी लेवल इट इज लाइक सम एनर्जी लेवल इट इज लाइक सम एनर्जी लेवल of whose energy level is it yours how much energy you have at this time no it is the energy level of electrons it is the energy le- it indicates the energy level of electrons simply remember that fermi level is nothing but energy level of electrons the same thing i have to given in the definition you can go through it but i am saying it's at absolute zero it need not be uh, every time at absolute zero so fermi level indicates the energy level of the electrons now let us see the certain points you need to remember for fermi level first one energy band diagram what is energy band diagram means this is called this will call it as conduction band this will call it as conduction band sorry this i'll call it as conduction band yeah you can see here ec ec indicates it's a conduction band okay ec indicates it's a conduction band now ev indicates valence band ev indicates valence band now ef indicates fermi level it indicates fermi level ef indicates the fermi level then eg indicates forbidden energy gap eg is nothing but the gap between ec and ev ec is the conduction band ev is the valence band the gap between ec and ev is called forbidden energy gap now i need to locate my fermi level the fermi level can change it may in the middle it may be near to say, i mean conduction band it may be near to valence band it may differ so if you see intrinsic semiconductors you know what are intrinsic semiconductors right so if you don't know just go through intrinsic and extrinsic semiconductors it's very basic so for intrinsic semiconductors the fermi level will be exactly at the center of the center of ec and eg means it's a midway of ec and eb means it's exactly e, uh, in the midway of energy gap eg ex- if the if the gap is complete gap is eg then the center of that eg you locate at that point you will have fermi level fine now let us see how the energy band diagram varies for this extrinsic semiconductors okay yeah for extrinsic semiconductors let us see for extrinsic semiconductors the energy band diagram will look like this for p type and n type it will differ for n type it will be near to conduction band the fermi level will be near to conduction band in case of n type semiconductors in case of p type semiconductors the fermi level will be near to valence band please try to memorize these two things for p type the fermi level will be near to valence band for n type the fermi level will be near to conduction band fine now let us see the, the extension okay before go we go for extension uh yeah yeah we'll see that fine first we'll see the extension then we'll go come back to the question extension is like if the temperature increases suppose if the temperature increases then for n type for n type materials if the temperature increases then ef will come down means it will come down from conduction band to slowly towards valence band try to remember this point initially for n type materials ef will locate at conduction band if you increase the temperature it will slowly come down from conduction band to valence band that's the first number first point you have to remember and the second point is for p type materials initially without any temperature increase at room temperature it will be near to valence band but if you increase the temperature it will move up it will go up okay please try to remember this first point then coming to doping levels this is also one of the important point so doping can be of various types like you might have lightly doped you might have moderately doped you might have heavily doped you might have degeneratively means excess excessively doped what is the meaning of you may ask like sir what is the meaning of uh, lightly doped okay so you may ask like what is the meaning of lightly doped lightly dope lightly dope is nothing but the levels are between 10 power 13 to 10 power 14 impurity atoms you will add per 1 cm cube of uh, what do you say intrinsic material 
for a pure intrinsic material if you add 10 power 15 to 16 then you'll call moderately doped if it is heavily loped you will add 10 power 17 to 10 power 18 atoms per pure conductor pure semiconductor so if it is degenerative if you add more than 10 power 18 then you'll call degenerative doping means I what I would like to say is for p-type and n-type materials if doping increases how the Fermi level will change I would like to show you can see you can look at this figure for p-type materials okay for p-type materials you can see here L indicates lightly doped lightly doped it said that generally where the Fermi level will be there for the p-type material it will be near the balance band that everybody knows right so what happens if, if it is lightly doped if it is lightly doped it will go to the top if it is moderately doped just below that if it is heavily doped here if it is uh, degeneratively doped then it will be near to balance band means if you do if the doping level increases then for p type material the balance uh, the fermi level will come down so just remember that for p type material if doping increases doping increases ef ef comes down comes down whereas for p type material if temperature increases what happens ef will goes up please remember this point for p type very very important similarly for n type materials for n type these are very common points for n type materials if doping is increased what happens we'll see if doping is increased then uh, how EF will behave you can see if it is doping is increased then you can see degenerative is at the top then uh, highly doped is at the middle then moderately middle lower also at the middle means as doping increases as it goes to degenerative then the Fermi level is moving upwards you may uh, this is conduction EC conduction level this is balance band okay EC and EB you can see here fine so if the doping increases if the doping is degenerative means it will cross even this uh, conduction band and it will go inside into the conduction band okay then highly doped is just below the conduction band means as the doping increases then the Fermi level will move up if it is degenerative then it will cross that conduction band and it will enter into it so as the doping increases EF will move up as the temperature increases as the temperature increases initially it creates conduction band then it will come down so in this way you can classify how p type and n type will vary according to doping and temperature so it's very simple for if normally p type materials see very simple i'll explain you a simple way one more or just 30 seconds so n type it will be near to fermi level so fermi level is near to conduction band so for p type it will be near to valence band if temperature increases they'll move in an opposite way temperature increases means they'll move in a reverse way if doping increases they'll move towards their own way means the fermi level will oh, for n type it will go towards the conduction band it will move in the same direction okay for n type it will for p type it will move towards the valence band for temperature only it will behave differently for doping increases it will behave normally so in this way you try to remember this few concepts based on temperature and doping now let us come back to our question so okay let us see our question if the do donor type impurity is added to semiconductor then at a given temperature the Fermi level will be so donor type is added donor type means n type material so you are adding p fifth group fifth group is something it donates it has some excess electrons right so fifth group elements have some excess electrons so whenever you had fifth group elements to fourth group these are like fifth group elements they have excess electrons so fifth group when you add to fourth group what type of material you will result it results it results nothing but an n type semiconductor acceptor means p type semiconductor so it's simply it is given an n type semiconductor how the fermi level will change what is the right choice it is nothing but the fermi level moves towards conduction band option c is the right choice so this is the end of this question if you have any queries post them in the comment below subscribe to the channel for getting more updates